Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome back. Mr. C here with you. We are in our Fractions series. Make sure if you learn anything new at all, click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. This video is going to be our converting improper fractions into mixed numbers practice problems video. If you missed the teaching video, it is in the description below. Check that out because we are going to be jumping into some challenging problems in this video. Also in the description below, you will find all of our fourth grade fractions playlist. Check those out. We also have third grade and second grade videos. They're all in the description below. Check those out if you need to get caught up to where we are today. Again, this video is going to be the practice problems for converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. Let's get started. So here you have our very first problem, ladies and gentlemen, but before we get started, make sure you have a growth mindset. Remember, a growth mindset is all about using your mistakes to help you get better. You're not giving up just because you make a mistake. You're not giving up just because it's a challenge. You're asking questions, you're practicing on your own, you're looking to find your mistakes whenever they happen, okay? Do not give up, let's do it. Two problems for you. We're gonna show you both strategies when we solve these problems, okay? The first strategy I'm gonna show you on both of them is the model, and then the second strategy I'm gonna show you is the division okay we're gonna do both of them I recommend doing both because if you can do both you're on your way to mastering this skill okay so let's do the model first the improper fraction we have the numerator is bigger than the denominator we have five thirds okay five thirds so let's draw a model here I'm gonna draw my model this direction this time so we've got five thirds, and the denominator tells me how many equal size pieces I need. I need three equal size pieces. So here's one, two, and three, okay? Now our numerator is five. I don't see five fractional pieces here, but I do see three. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in three of these because that's gonna be one third that's gonna be two thirds, and that's gonna be three thirds. And again, we're looking for five thirds. That's what we're trying to show. We're trying to show five thirds. And right now we only have three thirds, so that means we need to draw another model. So that's what I'm doing, because we're trying to get to five thirds. Same thing, make sure your models are the same size, because if they're not, then technically you're not really comparing the same thing, okay? So we've got equal size model here. We need 5 thirds, so let me color in some more sections. We're trying to get to 5 thirds. We've got 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. How much is this? Well, that's one more, so 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. There's 4 thirds. Let's color in another one because we're trying to get to 5 thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds. There we go. All right, our model shows five thirds. Now we need to write this as a mixed number. And to do so, what we're going to do is look at our models here. We're looking for the whole model. Do, you, do we have a model here that we colored in completely? Yeah, we do. If you look at this model here that I'm circling, we colored in all three of those pieces. So, how many of these do we have? We have one whole. We colored in one whole model. That's gonna be our whole number, our big number. Okay, now look at this other model we drew. This other model we drew, we colored in two sections. So that's gonna be our numerator. The numerator is gonna be two. Now how many sections, how many equal size pieces were in this model? There was one, two, there were three pieces that is our denominator okay so there is our model for five-thirds and that's what it would be as a mixed number all right let's see if we get the same thing for our division side of things let's change our color let's go with purple so this time we're just going to show you how to use division to find hopefully the same answer okay 
So numerator goes inside and the denominator is going to go on the outside. So the same thing you always do with division. How many times can 3 go into 5 without going over? Trying to get as close as possible. I'm going to skip count by 3. So here I go. I've got 3, 6. Oh wait, 6 is too big. 6 is more than 5. So I can only go into it one time. Okay, I can only go into this one time. So 3 times 1 is 3. Let's subtract that and see how much we have left. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay. 3 can go into 2 how many times? Let's think. 3, 6, and 3 is too big, so it can't even go into it one time. So if it can't go into it one time, that means that we're going to have a fraction. Okay. Our leftover piece down here, this 2, is going to be our numerator. And what is going to be our denominator? Does anybody remember? The leftover 2 is our numerator. The 3, what we are dividing by, is going to be our denominator. So there you go. Whole number 1 came from this. 3 can go into 5 one time. The numerator came from what we had left over, and our denominator is what we were dividing things by. So take a look here. For both strategies, we got the same thing. For 5 thirds, you can find the improper, excuse me, you can take the improper fraction 5 thirds and find the mixed number by two different strategies that we have here on the screen. Both of them will work. Both of them honestly take about the same time, but I always recommend being able to explain how you do it and drawing a model, being able to visually see it is a great strategy. Then you can also use division, okay? Master both these. If you can do both strategies, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier on yourself, okay? If you made a mistake, where was your mistake? If you're confused, where did you get confused at? At what spot did you get lost? Okay, rewind this, watch it if you need to again, because if you can find your mistake, if you can find where you're getting confused at, then you can find what the next step is, okay? Try another problem with me. So next problem we have here is going to be our last problem in this video. But we're going to be doing the same thing here. We're going to be solving this improper fraction and converting it to a mixed number using a model and using division. Okay. So first things first, notice the numerator is larger than the denominator, so we have an improper fraction. To say this improper fraction, say the number on top, 9 fourths. 9 fourths. All right. So let's draw a model. 9 fourths is what we're trying to show in our model here. Okay. So the denominator is 4, so I need four equal size pieces. So here's 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm looking for 9 fourths, so let me color in and see what we have here. This is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths. Okay, all right, 4 fourths. I'm liking it so far, but that's not 9 fourths, so we need to keep going. We need to keep going. We're trying to get 9 fourths. Drawing another model here. I do that every time. There we go. So drawing another model. We've got four fourths. Let's keep going. We're trying to get to nine fourths. There's five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. All right, still not at nine fourths yet. So what do we do, Mr. C? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we are going to draw, I bet you can guess, another model. All right, draw another model. Same thing in this model. We need to break it into fourths. How many do we have colored in so far? How many fractional pieces have we colored in? We've got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, 
five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. So we need one more, and that gives us nine fourths. Count them one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths. Okay. So with all this information, now let's write what our mixed number is. How many of our models did we color in completely? How many whole numbers do we have? How many whole models do we have? We've got one, two. Both of these models are colored in completely. We colored in, we shaded in both of those models completely. Okay, now let's talk about our fraction. How many pieces did we color in in this model? We colored in one of them. Out of how many? One, two, three, four. And there it is. There is our mixed number. Okay. So two is the whole. One fourth is our last model there. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see if we get the same thing with the division. Here we go. We've got nine and that is being divided by four. Four can go into nine, let's see how many times. Four, eight, 12, that's too many. So eight is gonna be it, it can go into nine two times. Four times two is eight. Subtract this, I'm gonna write this two bigger, give me a second, there we go. Let's subtract, see how much we have left over. Nine minus eight is one. Four can go into one. Well, it can't, all right. So let's write down what our fraction's gonna be. What do we have left over? We have one left over. What were we dividing everything by? We were dividing it by four. And there is your, if I can rewrite this four real quick. There we go. There is your mixed number. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Nine fourths can be converted to a, the mixed number of two and one fourths. There you go. There's two different strategies there for you. Both strategies are really good strategies to use. I recommend knowing how to do both. Okay. Again, Ask yourself, where are you making a mistake? Where are you confused at? What step did you get lost? Okay, if you can find that, then you can figure out, okay, I got stuck here, I got lost here. What should I have done? What do I do next? Okay, remember, the more we practice, the better we are going to get. If this is really confusing to you, make sure, watch the teaching video, check that out. Also, all of my contact information is at the end of this. Reach out if you need anything. If we need to do more practice problems, let me know, all right? If you learn anything new at all, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. That's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. C, out. <music>